Hello, my name is Deload or Jordan. Uh, if you've found this channel, probably because you've got some kind of patella tendon injury. Uh, my story is in the videos below, but essentially I snapped my patella tendon uh, skateboarding, which was uh, a really stupid idea, but I, um, I thought it'd be fun to try skateboarding. It wasn't, and I ended up with 12 months of rehab at the back of it. Uh, quick shot so you can see what that's like. I'm just being silly. So I snapped my patella tendon in February 2019. Um, I was then went to surgery and had something called the patella tape attached. In the playlist you'll see uh, a couple of videos from where I was six and eight and uh, a couple of months out from recovery. But then I didn't really do any for a while, um, mainly because I focused on my recovery. I've come back to this channel recently because I noticed I had a lot of notifications um, comments in my videos that people were having the same injury as me and doing what I did which is search on YouTube what is going to happen to me and what is the process and uh, on some level I've let you down I should have videoed more of it but what I'm going to do is uh, put some things on the channel that allow you to uh, see the rehab process that I've been through and the kind of activities that I can now do to give you the confidence that you'll be able to do anything you want when you're uh, recovered. So if you've recently snapped your patella tendon, um, what's going to happen is you're going to have your surgery and you're going to be put in a brace. That brace is going to have multiple degrees of angle. Um, one of my earlier videos shows you some of the degrees that I went through in my um, journey. After a couple of months, you're going to be released from that brace and it's going to feel like your leg's not your leg anymore but you're gonna to have to work on it and try and relearn to walk. You'll have some crutches, um, it's all fine. Pain should be fairly minimal. If you are nervous about the surgery or you've recently had surgery, pain for me only really lasted for the first few weeks. Um, and even then it was really only for the first few days. Um, and then after that, it's all about rehab and the pain you feel is more about stretching that tendon and, and pushing a bit further. As you can see behind me, this is my rig, uh, garage gym. So I've got the squat rack and we've got a bike over there and all the things we need for rehab. As I say, I've focused a lot on rehab in my journey so that I can do the things I wanna do uh, as I get older and stay more mobile. I was quite an active person before this all happened and, and now uh, I still am an active person. So, happened in February, 2019. Around about July is when I got signed off by the surgeon. So you can see that there's a five month gap there where um, I was in major rehab before the NHS surgeon signed me off. He was a fantastic surgeon, said, sign me off on July, and there you go, it's over to you. Essentially at that point, I paid for private physiotherapy and all of the tips and tricks that I've learned, I'm gonna put in videos once a week, down in the playlist for you to follow. Um, I had a fantastic physio, as I've said before, he was the physio for Manchester City Football Club and Wigan Warriors uh, Rugby League. So very lucky to have his expertise to help me get back to strength. I'm at such good strength now, and it is 18 months in now, I'm at such good strength that over Christmas, I started getting an idea. I started getting a bit of a crazy idea because I've been following some inspiration through my journey. Uh, Callum Von Munger who is a bodybuilder, had a very similar knee injury and his documentary is very good where you see him come back to strength and he grows his leg right back up to where he got to. And although he hasn't had an injury, Nick Bear's YouTube channel has inspired me a lot because he does believe that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. And that attitude's great and it needs to stay with you throughout all of your rehab, basically. You need to believe that you can do it and you can get back to normal. So you push yourself and don't be scared of it. I think Rachel Atherton, mountain biker, recently did her Achilles tendon, ruptured that. She's back downhill mountain biking. It can be done. So what's this challenge? In December, well actually on New Year's Eve, I signed myself up for Ironman Florida. This is someone who has only ever done a very small triathlon once for a bit of fun. So as you can imagine, huge amounts of volume on my legs with running and cycling ahead this year. And it's been going fine. The injuries aren't the knee. The knee hurts, aches a little bit, ice does the job. But overall, really, so far this year, it's going well. And I'm 18 months in. So if you set a goal, you'll be able to do it. Now, I haven't done the Ironman, but you can follow me along with that journey on this channel 
or on one of our other channels, Lost in the Lakes. So where's all this confidence come from? This confidence to sign up to an Ironman. Well, when I got back to work, I started cycling to work as soon as I could. Bought myself an e-bike and uh, that enabled me to carry on cycling. I needed to stay active for my mental health as well as my physical health. But cycling to work on an e-bike, a lot of people will think you're cheating. They'll look at you with the right eye. But when you've had a patella tendon rupture, that e-bike is a lifesaver. There and back every single day, rain or shine, and it got me exercising and it got my knees strong, which was the main thing. This was well before I ever thought about running. But cycling to work started building some confidence that, hang on, my knee can now put up with some stuff. I would then cycle home and maybe take the long road home and go over the mountains. Do a bit of downhill, not, nothing serious, just through some fire roads. But again, a lot of load going through the knee started giving me confidence. This was around back end of 2019. So really, eight months, nine months after the injury, I'm on a mountain bike in the mountains. So what's next for the channel? So as you see, I'm lucky enough to have a home gym and I work out in here pretty much every day, be that on a static bike or in the squat rack or doing any sort of body movements. Um, one of the things I'm looking to do is put weekly uploads on from now on. For anybody who has ruptured the patella tendon, I'll be putting on some very, very simple uh, physiotherapy exercises that my physio uh, gave me. There are times when it feels like a stretchy elastic band that doesn't feel like it's attached to your knee. There are times where you feel like there's a log hanging off your leg and it really doesn't, again, feel like it's ever going to be strong again. But it, believe me, it does get that strong. Uh, and I am now doing uh, squats and deadlifts, uh, very similar, similar-ish capacity to what I was doing before I ruptured the patella tendon. Uh, so I'm going to do some knee strengthening exercises for you guys, put little routines together. And if you like them, comment below. Uh, if there's anything that you feel that you need, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll address that. The equipment I've used along the way, so things like strapping or ice bags or um, knee sleeves, things like that. I'm going to do a little review on a bunch of kit that I've tried through this period. Um, again, I've bought pretty much everything because all I ever wanted to do was get back active again and setting a stupid goal of an Ironman in November uh, meant that I had to really fast track my uh, my recovery. This channel is really for you guys. Um, I'm a lot further on in my recovery now than I was when I first invented this channel when I first created it and the videos below that uh, seem to be getting a lot of traction in the patella tendon search. Uh, engine but what I have realized is that the comments that I do get are people who are going through the same fear that I had when it first happened and I've been through it I've done it and I've come out the other end and I'm still smiling so what I'm trying to do here is really give you guys what you need during your recovery I've had some great comments I've had some good uh, chat dialogue with some of the people who are going through their knee surgery or their rehab it might not be patella tendon it might be something else but uh a nice positive way forward for you guys to not be scared about what's coming and what you can achieve in the future. And hopefully my little vlogs that we do over the next every week will be posted every Friday. So if you want a little bit of inspiration about where you can go with this, uh, this year is a bit of a write off when it comes to events, but I was going to attack the Great North Swim, the Great North Run, a bunch of other triathlons leading up to my Ironman, all been cancelled. So basically it's between now and the Ironman, as long as it doesn't get cancelled, it's still on the list. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But either way, we're going to get there and we're going to get there together. Um, if there is any videos that you think that you need, any exercises, anything that's feeling painful, uh, hit me up in the comments, send me a message and I'll try and address or give you my experience about what happened with my patella tendon rupture. So have a great day, like and subscribe and we'll catch you on Friday.